Iceland, uh, well, we have to maybe go through the history a little bit. The crisis hit us in 2008, in the autumn, and then um, after that we had an election in the spring of 2009 and got a new government, a left-sided government, that promised us many good things, but they have broken all the promises. So what we have learned is the IMF and the banks are controlling Iceland now as before. So it's, it's all on the, on the, you know, the finance and the banks that control everything. So the debts of the banks are put on the shoulders of the taxpayers. You increase the taxes, you cut down in the welfare, uh, schools, hospitals, our main hospital in Iceland, the budgets have been cut now 25% in three years. So it's just the same history in Iceland like everywhere else. We have IMF and they are just IMF as always. And now? Well, we have been protesting from 2008 and uh, the protests are increasing again after, after, you know, people stopped protesting when the left-sided government came because they wanted to wait and see if they would keep the promises. But now we have realized that they will not. So the protests are increasing again and we are hoping that the grassroots can, well, be so strong to, to press the governments to do what they promised or leave, so new people can come in. Um, if we follow the path of the IMF, <clears throat> the situation in Iceland will get worse each year for the population. You know, the poor people will increase, middle class will disappear, and then we will have some, you know, very few very rich people, just like everywhere else where IMF is. Uh, the debts that are awaiting us, the loans that the IMF make, make us take are so huge that there are many people that are afraid that we have to sell our resources in Iceland, you know, the warm water, the, the waterfalls, the, the green elytry, and so we're going to lose our resources to some big private companies. They, <clears throat> in my personal view, they don't help us. I don't think the European Union is really for the people. You know, it's more European Union is around the central bank and the banks and the big companies. That's my, my view. Okay. And uh, so they want us just to pay. You know, the central bank is pressing Greece, Ireland, to pay for speculations. They do exactly the same in Iceland. So European Union will not be of any help to us. We have to change many things about debt and banking before the European Union can be what every people want it to be. If you look at the history of the debt, it's around four or five thousand years old history. You often had a jubileum in the old times. And that was because the king or the emperor, he had the power to say now we have a jubileum and we'll cancel all debt. Today, our governments do not have the power. The banks have the power. So we have to get the power away from the banks to us before we can have a jubileum. Because as you know, people are struggling, trying to know whose step this is, how it came about, but the secrecy is everywhere. And the banks got that power. You have to get that power back to the people and then you can have a jubileum. So it's key to get the power back. It means a revolution.